Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cody Brown, the patriarch of Sister Wise, has increasingly assumed the role of a villain, and there are numerous valid justifications for terminating the polygamous television personality's presence. Cody made his television debut in 2010, when the unscripted series aired to critical acclaim and an immediately captivated audience. It is difficult to recall, but at that time, Cody was the protagonist of the series. He was depicted as an exemplary father and spouse, adeptly managing his numerous women and children with apparent ease. Initially, the Browns were the picture-perfect image of a functional polygamous family, a dramatic contrast to the secretive sex that the lifestyle had come to be renowned for. As the series progressed, the Brown family gradually disintegrated. Disarray ensued following Cody's marriage to his fourth spouse, Robin Brown, in the inaugural season of Sister Wives. Ultimately, Cody had four women and 18 children, and he lacked the time to adequately meet everyone's needs. Several of his wives experienced feelings of neglect, and several of his older children harbored resentment due to Cody's limited availability. Pandora's figurative box was cracked out in 2021 when Cody's third wife, Christine Brown, walked away from the marriage, followed by his second wife, Janelle Brown, and first wife, Mary Brown, in 2022. As the Brown family has torn apart, Cody has become the major villain of the plot, and here are eight reasons he should be cancelled. 8. Cody blames Mary for the end of their marriage. He directs all his frustrations towards her. TLC has released a trailer for the upcoming season of Sister Wives, which recently premiered its 19th season on YouTube. The two-minute teaser reveals Cody in all his magnificence. He comes off as furious, resentful, and even cruel, accepting no responsibility for his repeated failed marriages, blaming it all on his wives. During an on-camera interview at one point in the teaser, Cody states, Blame yourself if I don't love you, okay? As usual, Cody spares his cruelest insults for his first wife, Mary. Over the years, Cody said the most terrible things to Mary, including telling her that he was no longer attracted to her and that he never loved her. The video teased an emotional scene between Cody and his first wife, in which they dispute about their broken marriage. During the scene, Cody adds, It's not divorce that sucks, it's marrying the wrong person. As if it wasn't terrible enough, Cody went on to remark, I wish I wouldn't have ever married her. 7. Cody treats Robin like a child. He even picked her wedding dress. While Cody and his first three wives are currently in their mid-fifties, Robin is 45 years old and is, therefore, the youngest of the brown spouses. Though Robin is a fully developed adult lady who had a full life before ever meeting Cody and the Browns, she is often infantilized by her husband. It started early after Robin joined the Brown family and the cast of Sister Wives. While arranging Cody and Robin's wedding during an early Sister Wives season 1 episode, Robin gathered her future Sister Wives to help her choose a wedding dress in a beautiful bonding moment that drew the women together. Mary, Janelle, and Christine were extremely touched by Robin's willingness to include them. The happy sentiments were however destroyed when Cody later confessed he went back to the dress shop with Robin to pick out a dress that he loved. Mary, Janelle, and Christine were surprised by the discovery as the incident set the foundation for Robin's relationships with her sister wives. This would set the tone for Cody to treat Robin like a child throughout their marriage. 6. Cody has shunned his own children. He hasn't learned his lesson. Throughout the years, Cody has feuded with numerous of his children, including 25-year-old Garrison Brown, who unfortunately passed away in March 2024. Garrison was Cody's kid with his second wife, Janelle, and Garrison wasn't on good terms with his father at the time of his death. Garrison, who was just 11 years old when Sister Wives began in 2010, and he basically grew up on television. Garrison and Cody seemed to be close when Garrison was growing up, but once he matured into an adult, the two men butted heads more often. 
Long-simmering tensions came to a peak when the COVID-19 epidemic hit and tore the family apart. Some of Cody's older offspring, including Garrison, weren't able to obey Cody and Robin's rigorous COVID regulations and were shunned by Cody, who didn't want to catch COVID. The separation was difficult for everyone involved, and the family wasn't able to rejoin once the pandemic ended. Despite the sorrow of losing his kid, Cody is still not on speaking terms with several of his adult children, which is just another reason he deserves to be cancelled. 5. Cody has lied several times, including lies of omission. During Sister Wives season 18, Christine revealed a shocking story about Cody and Robin kissing before their wedding, which was against Brown family dating guidelines. Before pursuing Robin, Cody was given stringent rules by his wives that prevented intimacy before marriage, which included kissing. Though the kiss itself was awful, Cody and Robin kept the secret for a long time, which made the dishonesty worse. Robin, who expressed regret about the kiss, stated, He kissed me, and I was like, all right, well, it's done. It's been done. Robin was quick to blame Cody for making the move on her, but she had the power to stop him, which she did not do. Cody and Robin's readiness to lie and disobey the rules concerning closeness was a harbinger of things to come, as Robin and Cody would continue to act as if the rules didn't apply to them. 4. Cody manipulates the people in his lies. He was behind Nanny Gate. The Browns were quarantined in four distinct homes during the COVID-19 pandemic, and Cody would move back and forth between them. The separation was a great strain on the already struggling family, so when Ariella Brown's fifth birthday rolled around, the family resolved to finally be together. They were sure to dutifully test beforehand and strictly followed CDC rules. The birthday party, which took place during Sister Wives season 16, went so well that, for a little time, it felt like the dysfunctional family had finally found their way back to each other. Hopes for a reunion were crushed when, days later, Robin and Cody notified the family that they had all been exposed to the virus, which Robin blamed on her nanny. Since Robin and Cody didn't want to risk another exposure, that was the last time the Brown family gathered together. There has been some conjecture that the nanny never exposed the Browns to COVID-19, and that Cody only wanted an excuse to spend less time with the family. The incident, which came to be known as Nanny Gate, was the final nail in the family's coffin, and they never recovered. It was yet another example of Cody using trickery to get his way, and his grounds for being cancelled. 3. Cody has feuded with many family members. He rejected Christine. Since joining the cast of Sister Wise, Cody has feuded with several members of his family, including some of his children. Of all of Cody's many feuds, his falling out with his third wife, Christine, was the most bitter. Though jealousy is to be expected in a plural marriage, Christine grappled with feelings of jealousy more than Cody's other wives did. Christine notably battled with living in a troubled marriage with Cody, while he enjoyed a totally working relationship with Robin. Things got worse for Cody and Christine after the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic separated the family irrevocably. Though this wasn't Cody's most furious feud, it was his most devastating, because Christine's anguish was clear. She felt rejected by her husband, which she saw as a full betrayal. Though she tried to work things out with Cody, in 2021, Christine was the first of Cody's wives to walk away from the marriage and is now married to David Woolley. 2. Cody legally divorced Mary. So he could marry Robin. Mary was Cody's first wife, and the two tied the wedding in 1990. Mary comes from a polygamous household, and she wanted a similar lifestyle for her marriage. She'd always dreamed of having lots of children, but she had reproductive problems, so the sister-wives couple decided to open their family up to a polygamous lifestyle, while Cody's marriage to his prior wives was spiritual, his marriage to Mary was legal. When Cody married Robin, she already had three children of her own, Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna Brown. Cody wanted Robin's kids to be legitimate part of his family, 
but it's much tougher to adopt kids as an unmarried guy, so Cody decided to divorce Mary so that he could then legally marry Robin. Though Mary consented, she was saddened by the divorce and was never able to get over it. Mary was always a loyal wife to Cody, and his abuse of her should have gotten him terminated long ago. 1. Cody favored Robin, and he didn't even try to hide it. Being the patriarch of a plural household sounds like it takes a lot of work because keeping numerous spouses pleased is no easy undertaking. While Cody was married to his first three wives, the family found a status quo and lived in relative tranquility for many years. Though he married his first three spouses within a few short years of each other, a long 16 years would go by before he added Robin to the mix. Bringing a new woman into his plural marriage affected the relationships between Cody and his other three wives. The unpleasant situation was made even worse when Cody openly favored Robin and spent more time at her place. He claimed it was because they had small children together, yet he still had other children still living at home with his prior spouses. It ultimately became evident to the other spouses, especially to Christine, that what Cody had with Robin was different from what he shared with them. His fondness of Robin sparked his falling out with Christine, who was shortly followed out the door by Janelle and Mary. Though Kobe whines about how tough it was to keep his wives pleased, it's what he signed up for. The fact that the sister-wives patriarch took on such a massive mission and went on to drop the ball is the major reason Cody should be cancelled. Thanks for watching if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.